So I think that men are like donuts. The dough of the donut is everything that men are taught about how to be a man. These are things like to be aggressive, to be tough, to be courageous, to take risks, to be funny, to be better than others, to be successful, to not talk about your feelings. Yeah, no, really, don't talk about your feelings. They come from so many different sources, like TV, film, comics, adverts, porn, magazines, games, sport, religions, government, the law, and the people around us, like friends, family, peers, parents. They come from so many different sources, it's really easy to believe in them. And these rules can be a little bit different depending on different aspects of men's identity, where they were brought up, their values, that kind of thing. But generally speaking, the rules are pretty similar. There is a huge pressure to follow the rules of how to be a man. Otherwise, men will incur the wrath of all those other men who really do want to be a man. And that can be a really, really scary place. And it's the rules here that are the problem. So that's the dough. But a good donut, in my opinion, also has to have some jam. And the jam in the masculinity donut are things like feelings and emotions, like love, loss, anger, sadness, joy, vulnerability, despair, feeling excited, upset, ashamed. The most important rule about Donut Club is to always keep your jam on the inside of the donut and keep your dough on the outside. So if our feelings, or jam, gets too much, then we have to create more and more dough in order to stop the jam from leaking out everywhere. And that means sometimes that men can be too much dough. Now this would be okay if we could just strut around and be like George Clooney, Idris Elba or Aziz Ansari, but actually not everyone can be those kinds of guys. And actually many men find it really, really difficult being a man. Men who don't have the right kind of body can feel like it's really difficult to be a man, for example. So they might worry about their size, their hairiness, their build, having a big enough dick or having a dick at all. And they may also worry about their disabilities, whether this disqualifies them from being a man. It's also really difficult for men to be men if they are poor, discriminated against, have their rights taken away, are less physically able, have had a difficult upbringing, struggle with their mental or physical health, or believe that they're a failure. But even so, many men find that just not being a man is not an option, particularly if all they've been taught when they were growing up since they're a little kid is that the only way that they can get any status or self-worth in society is by being a man. So often the only way to prove that you're a man, for many men, is to be aggressive, or to put other people down to make themselves feel better, or to be sexist, racist, ableist, homo, biphobic, or transphobic. The worst kind of doubt. So although some men are able to be a man and that's okay, there are many men who really, really struggle with this and take it out on other people. But also sometimes they can take it out on themselves, which is also super sad. So as well as asking men not to be dicks, please don't be dicks, um, we also need to make it more okay for men to be able to talk about their jam, to allow jam to spill out, or to make it okay for men to have jam. There's advice about how we all might be able to do this over at Bish.